Yes, uh, regarding representation of welded joints. You have this butt weld and fillet weld, and also the types of joints. So uh, let us take this first. Okay, Very easier to complete, right? So in here, I'll set the limits first. Zero tab zero, and uh, as is second four twenty and two ninety seven. Right, Z enter A enter so that it fits the screen, and then and then we take two rectangles. We'll, try, we'll start from here. We we'll take two rectangles. I see like this, right? And now I see another rectangle. like that. And uh, have another rectangle here, right? So, okay. Like that. Okay. And Another one here to show the lab joint. Okay, another one here for the corner joint. And uh, let us draw this profile of butt joint, right? Line. We'll draw one and then we'll mirror that. Okay, F8. And F8 again to keep the auto off this time. Like this, right? And then we'll mirror, mirror that. MI. Mirror about what? Let us take a line. Maybe here, mirror these objects about first point, second point. Oh, figure source objects. My RR mirror these two objects about this line. Area source objects, no. Okay, and then let me read this line. And uh, because of the fillet, there will be a what do you call bump, right? Of the material that is all that is being filled. So we'll take three point arc just as we did earlier. First point, second point, and third point. Let's trim the unwanted portions like. This right, that's all, I guess. Yes, and then you can fill it with right. Let us draw all the other joints and then we will fill it. So, in here, you have this T joint and enter like this, right. Yes, that should be good. And then basically you can mirror that if you want to have a symmetrical along this line. No, why is it not mapping exactly? Mirror this line. Okay, because we did not draw it exactly in the middle. We have drawn random rectangles. And then otherwise, let's take another set of right. Yes, that should be good. And edge joint will take three point arc right starting from this point 
this point and this point, right? Okay, and lap joint here because you have it overlapping. This plate is overlapping with this. And if you want to weld it here, that will call that will be called the lap joint. Okay, like that. It'll, the diagram will get more clear as we draw the hatch and fill portions. So we have another one here, right? So at, at an angle, more angle, like here, right? And the corner joint. We'll use three point R again. Okay, first point, second point, third point, corner joint. Okay. So that's all, I guess. Right? And then we can hatch it. Firstly, let us fill the solid hatch. Hatch enter, solid hatch, this one. This one, this one, that is a weld, that is also a weld. That's a weld, and that's a weld, right? All those are welds. All those are, all those which are black are white here because of the change in background. Hatch, hatch, enter again. This hatch, yes, perfect. You need not to scale it again, right? That one and this one will be opposite. So let us change the angle. I'm sorry, the angle to 45. Oh, it's changing both things because both were selected. So we should give it individually. This hatch to this. And you say OK. And then you go again, hatch, enter. Another hatch, but angle is 45. Sorry, not 45, 90. Okay. And press OK, right? In here also, these two should have different hatches. Hatch enter. Right, this one. And this one should have the same because they belong to the same plate. Actually, yeah, these two are different plates. Right? We have butt joint here. So indicates there are two different plates, so not have the same. Right. Close that. Enter. This will have one. Why is it not showing? Yeah. And then another hatch, click it, and then you can change the angle to zero. That indicates there are two different plates. I may want, I think we should change the, scale a bit, it's too dense, maybe twice, this should be good. Now this one, which enter or oh, maybe should I set let us have it and then we can set both of them at the same time. A different hatch here as well. Hatch enter not this one for it zero. And let me change this. These two densities to twice. Right. Okay, I changed this one, didn't I? Okay, I did not. Well, then we'll delete and place it again. Yeah, that is fine. But okay. Okay, then. This and that. Okay, we should have started from here, this way, and then this way, and then should have been this way. 
or we we can represent it with a difference in the density as well not a problem that should be okay all we want to convey is those two are different entities these two are different entities you can use it density as a parameter as well to indicate the difference right that's all i guess yes and you have to indicate the notations annotate multi layer starting from here what does this indicate this indicates your edge joint too small control a okay 15 yes that is good a joint now another one let me change the default text d enter default text height to 15 right that's what i kept in here isn't it yes so multi layer again what is this this is your part joint right again okay i need to go to this manage multi layer size and then modify it and then change the text size okay here is the text size content text height 15 okay close see like that and this is your t joint t joint okay and then this is your lap joint right because this overlapping in here it was perpendicular t right t in here this is overlapping so you call it a lap joint okay and this is your corner joint multi layer starts with here and that's your corner joint that's all right a joint t joint but joint lap joint five this yes, five so that indicates your types of joints let's take a text that's your types of joints right okay haven't changed the text size maybe 20 right you just have it here and enter all of this starting from maybe this part like this and just right types of joint r c have it in one rectangle right then you can save it it's your exercise what's the exercise number F C D E F six. Okay. Right. Save it. That's about it. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Another part is this one. So we'll represent that here. 
Oh yeah, here should be good. So we'll just start with this the left one. Uh, what is the rectangle REC? Or maybe if I can create it out of lines, that'd be better. REC. No, one second. Lines. So, okay. Like eight. Like that. Right. Like that okay and then yes here you see to indicate the continuity you are trying to draw that with a fillet i'm sorry with a spline not off okay too much Enter. Right. In here as well. Spine. Enter. Okay. And then yes, that middle portion is what we'll draw and then we'll take this inside so the weld is what we will draw now using lines no using splines okay or maybe control splines that will give us or let us take the first type of spline with only points on the spline not control points mm, starting from here we can draw actually half of it, right? Or what we can do is take a polyline. Right, starting from here. Okay. Like that. We are exactly at the middle. Press escape. So that we can mirror it, right? That's why I'm trying to mirror it about what? Let's take a line. Mm, or maybe we'll take the same lines. Same points. Mirror what? Mirror these. Okay, you see the advantage of selecting from top left to bottom right. It will only select this and not this one. So that is selected. Press enter. Mirror line is this one. I guess those objects no. Okay, and then we can actually want to modify and modify otherwise leave it like that you can place a fillet as well to have it more smoother first entity second entity maybe we can specify the radius such as 50 yes that should be good right and then and then what we will do is We'll trim off this part. Okay. Trim off this part. 
and throw it. Put a hatch, hatch enter, right? Not too dense. Maybe twice of that. Yeah. And then we can continue that, right? Inside part. Because we'll have a, <coughs> a V. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so that V notch is there, right? So we'll create that. <coughs> I'll enter starting from that point of weight. This I fade off. Maybe we'll go until here. Mapping it to this, joining it there like that. Now I can mirror this about the same line. <clears throat> the what? Mirror this, 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 and that. Right. And uh, about what? About the same lines we took earlier. Right. Like that. This was objects. No. Is that clear? Yeah. Almost like that so other than that yes we want to now represent the different parts so we'll represent that this starting from okay let us take this base metal okay it has a dot at the end so we will what we will do is we'll go to annotate we'll create a new multi-leader okay by the name maybe dot right continue and at the end where is that leader structure yeah here arrowhead is your dot small dot small dot blank dot small right and uh, content text size 15 should be good Right, and let's not close it. Dot is selected, select the multi leader. This is okay, that's too small, I guess. Okay, this metal, right? That's too small. Okay, what can we do about that? Manage multi leader styles, modify that dot. A size, yes, you can increase the size, right? 10. Okay. Close. That should be good. Right? I should decrease the size of the text as well. You don't need that much. Manage multi user styles. Modify. Text height should be 10. Okay. Close. And I will update. Now this is looking good. Base metal. What else do we have? Fusion zone, which is this. So let's have that multi leader as well. Fusion zone. Okay. What do we have with the dot? Nothing. Here you have it, but here no. Now we'll go to. I think it is out of now. Now, for the arrows, right? So we'll create the standard one is already there. So that should suffice. What are we going to represent for the root opening? But we'll do that with the help of dimensions. Okay, linear dimensions. From this point to that point, like this. And then we can edit this. Delete. Okay. Delete the dimension. And write. What is it that we want to write? Root opening. Root opening. Is, is what we want to write. I think we should decrease the size. More. Okay. Because this is a different one. Okay. 
So now we'll go to manage material styles. You want to modify the standard one, change the text height to 10. Okay. And also we want to have a bigger arrow, I guess. Yes, the arrow size is too small. So that we can do in dimension manager, modify. arrow size symbols and arrows arrow size is maybe 10 okay close yes that is good now we can flip the flip the arrow flip the arrow because those are too small so better to place it outside now i'll place it somewhat at a distance so that's about your root opening. I think more, we need to increase the arrow size more. The reason why we are modifying it in D, Dimension Style Manager, the general one is because that's where the dimensional, this all dimensional uh, data will be stored. So arrow size maybe 15. Close too much. Let's keep it like that. Okay. That's not updated. Text size. Ten is what we kept. What is the problem then? Okay, here, I did not specify, did not change it here. Now that will update, root opening, like that, control S, save it. Okay, what else is it that you want to represent? Root face, same dimension from this point to that point, change the text, the root opening, root face, I'm sorry, right, place it up, I want to change the Yes, now if you want to have it above and below the dimension line, you can do that as well. Just go to right click properties, going to this, where do you have that? Text view direction, no. Where do you have that? I don't think you have that option here. Text moment, keep dimension on your text. No, just as you had the underline, you're not having it here. Okay. And then what else do we have? We can paste it here. Right inside as they had done it. Right, because we have more things to place outside, I guess. Weld face is another one. You can use leader line for that. Like that. Word face. Okay, that standard leader line I believe is has a different text. I'm sorry. Your arrowhead is not big. No, it is okay, I guess. Yes. Okay, word face and 
be well angle we'll use angular one there you have this in here angular between this line and uh, this line like this right you can edit this B1 angle. Okay. Like that. That's your B1 angle. And groove or included angle, the total angle. Okay. Let me place it down. We can have another one. That is between this line and that line because there are multiple entities is asking us what entity do you want to select this one is your groove or included angle right that's your even angle groove or included angle yes i believe everything else has been defined right that's your butt weld copy the same thing control c control v but weld right in the center you can draw a rectangle around that to have clarity right yes and regarding the fillet weld you see almost all uh, commands that we have used are similar there isn't it except except for this throat only yes you see it is inclined so how do you do that i'll show it here itself you see this line inclined right i'll use inclined one here inclined dimension okay that point and that point like this okay and then you can place it double click okay and then you can modify that okay so that's about your Okay, that's how so that is about your fillet weld, right? The B part. So you have it at an angle. It's a T basically. But because you are because if you see in 3D, that you go along the length perpendicular to the screen, you can say. Right.